Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to create an organizational chart with the org chart wizard in Visio 2010. So to go into the org chart wizard we have to go into file and we can go under the business categories to find it. Now you know, might have noticed that it is up here I have it up here at the organizational chart wizard here because I had opened it previously but if you hadn't opened it previously it's under the business category. Let me go ahead and double click that and then you can find the org chart wizard here. So if I click or double click on that it's going to open up the org chart wizard and it's going to go through some steps here. So it's going to ask you if you want to create your org chart from a file or database or information that you're going to be entering. For the most part if you are using this chart we're going to assume that you have a file an external file from Visio where it's where your organizational chart sits in. So it could be a text file, t, uh, .txt file, or a CSV file, or an Excel file. It could be on an Exchange server, or it can be on an ODC, ODBC compliant uh, database type file. In most cases, or in my case I'm going to go ahead and show you an example of, is it's going to sit on Excel. So let me go ahead and open with the Excel. This is what it would look like. It's going to be a very simple um, org chart that is laid out by rows. Now one of the more important things to consider is you need to at least have the name of the individuals and who they report to. So in this example we have kind of a small org chart of executives, the CEO, the COO, and the CFO and the folks that report under them like the VPs or directors and consultants. So we have this first column that is the name and then our second column is the title and then this third column is who they report to. So at a minimum you should have the name and who they report to. So Joe Smith is a CEO, he doesn't report to anybody so it's assume, assuming that Joe Smith is on the very top of the hierarchy. And then VJ here which is the COO reports to Joe and we also have uh, Carl here the CMO reporting to, reporting to Joe and Mary Lee the CFO reporting to Joe. So you can kind of visualize now how this hierarchy is going to flow down once we import it into Visio. So let me go ahead and go back to Visio. This is the file that we are going to import. Uh, you you got to have this file closed. I'm going to go ahead and close it out now. And let me go back into Visio. So in Visio we're going to create our org chart from that file. Go ahead and click on next. And this is going to be an Excel file. I'll go ahead and click next here. Now I'm going to go ahead and browse for that file. I already have it uh, available here. Let me go ahead and click Next. And now it's going to pull that file and Visio is going to look and look at the fields and look at the name and the reports too. So I already have the column uh, where, where we have the names and it's going to pull out those columns here for you to select from and who it reports to. So I already have a reports to column. It also lists out the available fields within that file for the reports to. So it's already kind of picked it out. Visio was smart enough to pick it out. Uh, I'm not going to go ahead and choose this first name because it's optional. I'll go ahead and click Next. And now it's going to ask which ones, which fields from Excel do you want to display. Um, I don't really need the have the reports to field display. All I want is just the name and the title, similar to how it's going to show up like this. Um, if you, you you may have a file that has numerous other file um, field columns, maybe the email, a telephone number, uh, employee ID number, um, that could be the extent of the file that you have. But this is something that I wanted to keep very simple. So that I only want to have the display of the name and title. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on next, and then we want to show the column fields, the data file, and what we want to add to the chart shape. So the, the background data that, that doesn't need necessarily need to show up, but it is part of that shape. So that, that shape, if we had our telephone number, the email, the department that it report up to, we can still pull that in and that will be part of the shape fields, the data fields, but they don't necessarily need to show up, but they will be in the background for that field. So I'm going to have those three fields that I had in the Excel file be part of the shape data field, so that's okay. Go ahead and click on next. And now the, the last step here is we want to have the wizard automatically break the organizational chart and pages. So this is fine. The, you can probably check this radio button because this is assuming that your maybe your your file or your 
rows are pretty large. Maybe you're importing a, a pretty large, medium to large type of uh, Orca chart that's coming in from a file. You might want to have it break it into multiple pages and it'll link those different uh, shapes or the different parts of the hierarchy on the different pages. And that's what the checkboxes here are for. So we can hyperlink the employee shapes uh, across pages and also synchronize them. So when you synchronize them, what it does is it enables you to make a change on one page and that page that change will reflect on another page. So I'm going to go ahead and keep these two check marks there. So I'm going to click on finish. So we see Visio has actually kind of created this org chart for us now. I'm going to go ahead and zoom into it. And there, you can either use the slider to zoom into it. We have our zoom out and zoom in that lets us zoom into it. But I like to use the keyboard and also mouse combinations. Control, Shift, left mouse click, and you'll see that the cursor turns into a magnifying glass. And I can go ahead and select the area where I want to zoom in on. Maybe I just want to zoom in on these three boxes, or I can zoom in on the top here, and it will zoom in there. Now, if you notice that it's kind of cut off here, I can also kind of move it around by using the scrolls here. I can scroll up a little bit, or the other keyboard uh, shortcut is Control, Shift, and then right mouse click. And what happens is now when I move it around, you'll notice that the cursor turned into a little hand and I can also move it around. So, so this gives me a little bit of flexibility in terms of adjusting the view of it. So now that I have my org chart kind of set up from the file, I can start modifying it. So maybe I'm just going to go ahead and reduce this a little bit and zoom out a little bit and go ahead and use Control shift right mouse click to kind of move it up a little bit here and let's say that I want to add uh, to Carl's maybe I have these shapes here you see we have our shapes pane here I wanted to add a manager under Carl so I can go ahead and just select this and kind of just go over in the top I don't need to put it here and then create another link here I can just put it right over the top and Visio is going to tell us well if you wanted to do that and have it automatically uh, make the lines uh, that are going to um, connect them together, it's, you just need to put it on top of the shape. So if I click OK, you'll notice now it goes into the bottom and there is a connecting line shape there. So maybe for the name here, I'm just going to put um, another Joe, maybe Joseph, maybe Joseph uh, Lee, and maybe Joseph Lee is a consultant, right? And if you had other people to add under folks, uh, you can add to the position or consultant, which is a different shape, um, maybe a vacancy, a, a to be hired type of role. Assistant, assistant can be put something under like the CEO, it's going to be put over to the side here. And if you had a multiple of people to put under folks, uh, there's this shape here that can let you put more than one. So if we put, if we put this out here, maybe we put under Mary, you'll notice now that at the bottom here, let me go ahead and control shift, right mouse click and kind of move it down here. You'll notice now it has added three boxes here. So that this three position ones had added three boxes. Let me go ahead and control Z to undo that and show you another one. There's this multiple shapes one. If we didn't want to stick with just three, if I click on this and kind of moved over Mary Lee to add it in there, it's going to come up with an additional window where I can select the amount of shapes I want to add and what type of shape. So you can have some flexibility in there to add other shapes. Uh, the number of shapes and also the type of shapes. Let me go ahead and cancel out of that. I'm not going to do anything adjusting here. Another thing I wanted to show is maybe adding a title to our page here. So I'm going to go ahead and control shift right arrow, kind of move it over here. And maybe I want to add a title here. When I print it out, I want to make sure that we have a title and we have the kind of name of the company. So I can just type double click that, type ABC company just to make up some company name and that gives us the title of the company. Now if I don't want to have these grid lines, these grid lines don't really print out but if I don't want to see them anymore I can just go under view and then click on that. Uncheck that grid box and now it disappeared. So if I click on this fit to page you'll notice now it's kind of a nice little view. So those grid lines are there to help you out as a guide so you can line things up, line the shapes up nicely. So if we wanted to move shapes around, we can just click on the shape and kind of move it out. It's going to move uh, that shape plus any of the reporting shapes under it. And I can, I can move this one out over here on the right here. Or if I, could, if I wanted to move a group of shapes, let me press Control-Z to undo it, I can just go ahead and left mouse click 
and select that, it's going to select these two shapes and I can just move them aside and they're going to move together with their corresponding shapes. Now if I wanted to add a picture to these shapes, maybe for example our CEO has a picture, let me go ahead and zoom into that control shift left arrow, you see it turns into a magnifying glass, I'm just going to go ahead and select that part. If I want to give Joe Smith a picture, let me go back into the org chart tab. Um, you, this, is, this will show up once you have an org chart, this org chart tab. Go ahead and select Joe Smith here. Go back into insert and insert the picture of the CEO here. Double click that and let me go ahead and just fit the page. We see now we have Joe here, our CEO. So it seems like we've lost these two folks that report under the CEO. Let me go ahead and control shift and zoom in here. Let's go ahead and move them back. Let me go ahead and left mouse click and select over here and move them back here. Let me go ahead and uh, move them back here. Let's see if that fits. Now that's sort of fit. Let me go ahead and zoom out a little bit. And it seems like it didn't really put it together too nicely and what I can do is I can click the relay out and it will take care of it for me and Visio is actually pretty nice in the way that it go ahead and tries to find the best layout and so it relayed it out here so let me go ahead and scroll down a little bit here and we see that we have them set out here. So if you notice here we also have different layouts there's a horizontal layout if I selected this and instead of having it all go one go down one I can have it uh, horizontally here maybe to the center and you notice that it's done that over there and I can do the same here uh, vertically if I wanted to reorient it, it back vertically I can click on that and it goes back or you can have it side to side or if you want to have Visio kind of take care of it for you you can also click just go ahead and re click best fit the page and it'll take care of trying to fit the organizational chart in an optimal setting. Now there's these move up and move down, move left, move right buttons. So what happens is, let me go ahead and zoom into uh, VJ's group here. Let me go ahead and control shift and then left click and go ahead and zoom in here. And you'll notice that uh, we have some uh, consultants up here. Maybe we don't want the consultants up so high, they should be lower down uh, below the VPs and directors. So I can click on one of the consultants and just click on the arrows to move it down. So you notice that it's moving it down here and then maybe I'll move the VPs up, moving it up here. And so I can do some rearrangement of the shapes here. Also if we're done with our, our movement of the shapes and the layout and we want to kind of add some flair to the background, what we can do is change the background. So I'll go ahead and let me go ahead and zoom out here or go fit in the page here. And once I fit in the page here, I can go under the design tab here and I have some backgrounds that Visio provides. If I click on that, maybe I have a background of the world and that gives me an image of the world. And if I wanted to change some of the theme colors, I didn't want this gray. There's a ver there's a various amount of themes here that we can select from. Maybe I like something like this and you can have some of this orange color or some of a blue color available. So apply those themes for you. So there's many things you can do here after you uh, import the org chart from a file such as Excel and put it into a visual view. You can rearrange the layout, you can adjust some of the shapes, you can add or modify the shapes, and you can also uh, change the background and apply some themes and color to it. So I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.